welcome back to um electricity yeah a lot of new stuff in the new 13w um 01b snapshot eh yeah by the way would it totally blow your mind to know that this would actually cause that yeah not many people i don't think have noticed this yeah, now there's a fill checking option for comparator. Actually, a lot of people does notice this, but I was experimenting with it. And which led me actually to a lot of new discoveries. Um, namely, let's start with a couple. Like, when, like, it depends on the percentage fillage of the chest. Like, two will give an output, but one will not. The comparator actually does a fill check thing, but it can actually have a direct output like give it two like see it can actually have a direct output and it can also be done from one wall behind however it needs to be on a direct line a chest has 27 slots uh, i just filled up two of that that's a seven percent and each two block you enter it fills up one more why that is is because a chest has 27 slots and this signal can be a maximum of 15 strength so 15 strength corresponds to 27 slots as when the chest is full it gives a 15 long signal right here this is the 16th there's no signal there so each signal strength correspond to 1.8 or 27 by 15 items or slots and my guess is the game just counts up to the ceiling value of two items. You put in another two, you get the third piston up. But here's the crazy part. Hold on, oh, let me get, get a good... Just look, keep your eye on that signal for a second and also this one. Did you see that toggle for a second? Not when I take it off, but when I put it in, it actually toggles. So the signal strength actually reduces and then increases. I'm not sure what the behavior is on this. I haven't been doing much redstone, you know, mostly let's playing. But anyways, uh, all of you may know that the two chests of a large chest are actually divided into the top 27 and the bottom 27. And one of the either the left side or the right side corresponds to the top 27 or the bottom 27 now using this you can actually tell which part of the chest is full like right now here when the top part is full it's sending out a signal on the left side left half chest but not on the right chest so if i actually take two swords down to the right it'll actually emit some signal here it also emits from the front in case that's not apparent right now anyway um the crazy thing is, this is actually direction dependent, like we're now facing, let's start with the zero. You see, when you're south, the top part correlates to the right side, aka the west side. When you're in, when the chest is, rather, when the chest is facing north, it relates, it correlates to the west side. When the chest is facing east, it the top part correlates to the north side. When the chest is facing south, the top part correlates to also the west side. So that's kind of interesting that for two directions, for uh, north and east, it actually the top part of the chest is the left half, but for the south and west f uh, facing or rather backing chest, it's the right side. I know, I know, that just got confusing for me too. <laughs> okay, let's reiterate. The chest is facing towards me. So the, when the chest is facing west or south, the top part of the chest is the left half. When the chest is facing, facing north or east, the top part is the right half. You need to um, keep that in mind because the chest doesn't emit signal from all the chests. I don't know if that will be fixed, w will be addressed because the chest is to my knowledge the large chest is considered two chests in the game so i honestly don't think unless chest mechanics are fully overhauled that's going to change so you need to keep that in mind i just noticed another crazy thing and this may also be a bug 
You see, when you put in a stackable item with a non-stackable item, it takes on the fill of the stackable item. Take it out, it loads up instantly. Put it back in, no signal, because it's not a stack yet. And even, and hold on. So as you can see, uh, one stack will not give a signal. Two stacks will. A again, the same fill thing apply, but when you put in these, see they expand again on the same thing but when you take out one of them it takes on the stone brick i don't know what the code is so don't i i'm not actually going to try to attempt to figure it out because i know this is just the snapshot so it will you know become more clearer as time goes on so this is what the problem is um when there are two swords, it gives out one signal. We already know this. Putting in two more gives out a second signal. We already know this, okay? When I put in a stack of stone brick, it shouldn't give a signal because again, you just saw that's how it rolls. But if I put in just one single stone brick, the signal stops. Yeah. Is that weird or what? No signal? No signal, no signal, no signal, no. Put in 64, suddenly there's a signal. Um, there must be a point in between when there's no signal. Like, see, even at 32, there's no signal. But, hold on. Okay. 32, no signal. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. At 38, we get a signal, but... Take just one away, no signal. Put it in a put it in a different slot, there's no signal. Put it on that slot, there is a signal. Put another stone brick in, there's no signal. See, um there's clearly some bug going on here. Clearly, and that's why I'm not trying to figure out what it is. This is a chest, this is a trap chest. There's a little bit of brownishness. Also, I like the fact that it doesn't actually tell you. I like the fact that we can do this beyond walls. Forget trap chest. The chest fill option. Just have two stuffs in a chest and if the player takes out even one, bam. Bammo. Bammo. Let's take out one. Let's see. Two. Two. Right? Boom. You just got your signal. You can do stuff. You can actually check for robberies in a, in a custom map. That is just that that is just gorgeous that is just gorgeous um i just found out that in the wiki that uh in the 13w01a snapshot comparators used to travel um used to carry redstone current instantaneously but that led to some bugs which were fixed in the b snapshot which required them to have half a tick delay and now this information is not entirely accurate it's not exactly half a tick because you see right here we have eight repeaters all on one tick so that's just one tick delay and here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's 20 comparators all right and they turn the lamp on and off at the same time but not off at the same time Actually, this one's probably half a bit, half a tick faster. So, sometimes they seem to operate at the same time, yet sometimes they seem not to and have like a half a tick delay hmm. in any case it's not exactly half it's actually faster than half as in less time than half a tick to transfer this signal so i don't really know what the exact time is but it's no way half it's no way half you can pretty much call these equal they're probably half a tick off but there's tw 20 comparators here plus a block and a redstone if that makes any difference it I don't think it does. Same here, eight ticks. 
so 20 comparators equals to 8 ticks so a comparator is 8 20th or 0.4 tick which is actually faster than one game tick because one game tick is half redstone tick this is faster than a game tick i don't know what's going on here just just gonna point out i think it may be a directional thing or i had the number here wrong let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay eight ticks almost six ticks almost actually a little bit greater than six ticks so six and a half ticks so it's a directional thing good to know we still have the north south east west bug they still haven't removed the directional dependencies in case you're curious the uh, field detection not only works on chest it also works on dispensers um, furnaces basically uh, everything that can store item that has a fill so here we have a brewing stand as you can see it can only have four items so four items gives a maximum of 15 so one item emits four signals two emits how many one two three four five six seven seven signals really huh that's no one one sorry one emits three signals two emits seven three emits one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven signals and the complete set emits 15 so it's three four three four mm, basically it can do a half increase uh, also I just noticed as you can see from this side that texture is a little bit missing I hope uh, it's not Def it's completely not an issue, but I just noticed that and that's kind of curious Let's try uh, let's try out the dispenser then Again, there are nine slots and The nine slots correspond to 15 length So each slot corresponds to 15 by 9, which is a little less than 2 So let's see one so three items should correspond to five it does so there's gonna be some uneven increase so two correspond to three and one corresponds to one so um there's gonna be some uneven increase as expected also i expect another thing let's see if that is indeed the case stackable item boom i knew it there is some bug there but put that up and we get the full signal back again that is completely weird. Let's check the furnace. Mm -hmm. Five signals. Interesting. Weird. Does smelting actually cost... One is not enough. Alright. Let's see at how much the furnace actually decides to give an output. 14. Uh, it's probably less than 14. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 blocks of a stack will give out one signal. The same case there, or is it less than 13? Hold on. Mm. Getting confused here. Okay. 12, 13. Okay. Interesting. Multiples of 13, maybe? Is it another 13? Yep, multiples of 13 when using stacks. Interesting. Very interesting. Since we can't actually put stuff there, not not as much. Wow. Alrighty. You knew this was the logical conclusion. It doesn't give a signal? Huh. Okay, um, this one doesn't give a signal. Enchanting tables don't give a signal. Neither does the music. And neither that does the ender chest. 
yeah but uh arthur Hadrian was saying that this is player related or someone else was talking about this i don't actually remember um since this is a player inventory player specific it won't detect that which is some um, good i guess neither with the anvil it appears huh weird workbench what what's it called crafting table oh <laughs> forgot the official name for it wow okay is it because you can't they don't actually store a thing so yeah it's official this fill check only works with uh, storage items not you know stuffs like inventory or anything yeah it doesn't work like that so neither the anvil nor the crafting table nor the enchanting table since when you go out of their inventory they're not storing items so it won't give out a signal all right the hopper should give a signal and it does again pr probably on a one by five so that's three signals each yep that's three signals okay so that's each corresponds to three signals not when there's only one item again that's probably a higher number yeah and as i am expecting it's hold on the minecart with chest since it's an entity not a tile entity it won't do any difference yeah no it doesn't it it was completely expected so if you recall correctly 13 gives one signal these two does not because see they don't give a signal but if i smelt these 13 and the 13 ends up here will that give a signal i guess we have to wait and find out all right 13 i um, smelted it's still giving one tick signal i mean one signal strength signal put in another 13 the signal doubles so that also counts as a valid storage space even though the player can't actually put stuff in there so that actually does count right yo i think um i think i may have inadvertently made this a hugely long video but i you know i was just experimenting around just you know i had to go play around and try out all the new features i know most of these are subject to change this tick length will probably be constantized rather than dependent on direction i certainly hope it will be because right now we don't have any documentation on this thing and being you know direction dependent is <laughs> again just you know crazy this is one of the best features like this is seriously one of the coolest things of the snapshot of uh, you know the b version of the snapshot that we can you know the comparators actually fill check through friggin walls better than lock chests okay guys as the moon rises <laughs> it's also turning evening here as the moon rises i bid you farewell on another electricity video i'm I mean, I'm really excited about this snapshot and um, as the sun sets, I bid you farewell. Good night.